Hi, good afternoon all. So welcome back to our channel, Exact City. Um, actually, in this section, we are going to give an overview regarding September month ILTS test papers. Uh, so which one are the test dates available and what about the best test date for academic and gender module? We will see about that in detail, about the question category, the level of the test and uh, some essay topics and all completely for uh, the September 2022. I'm getting frequent requests to update this video because then only you can able to book your seats. Now the IDP is the only exam conducting body and uh, the test dates are uh, booking as soon as possible. So um, maybe you will not get the required test day. Uh, so that's why I thought of uh, preparing this video. So we will see about September 2022 test dates first. So the available test dates as per the current update, uh, 3rd September that is Thursday with academic and general module and 10th September uh, that will be Saturday with academic only test date and 15th September uh, that is again Saturday uh, it's an academic and gender module test papers and 24th September that will be the last test date uh, of September month again Saturday with academic and gender module. So we will see about each test dates in detail. First of all, 3rd September. So that will be the first test date of the month. And um, we have both academic and general test paper on the same date. So we are expecting the overall test in EC2 moderate level. Okay, so I'm mentioning about the overall test paper, including your writing, listening and reading. The test paper will be in EC2 moderate level for both academic and general module. So first we'll see about the listening module for both academic and general. Uh, so overall the test will be in EC2 moderate level for listening module. Audio you can expect the American accent, British accent and Australian accent as the audio. And you need to familiarize with all the accents especially in part 3 and part 4 if it is Australian accent and all means it will be a little bit tricky or fast also so you need to concentrate on part 3 and 4. Uh, anyway the question category will be filler based question in part 1 and 4 and also in between you can expect MCQs, selection of letters and matching type of question in part 2 and 3. So overall the level will be in easy to moderate level and regarding the reading module you can expect the level of academic in moderate level only so you need to concentrate on passage 2 more. Okay, that will be related to the science, inventional studies and all. Overall, the test will be in moderate level. You can expect one passage. Any one of the passage will be more easy. And the remaining two will be little bit tricky, we can say. Okay, so they can ask for uh, the matching type of questions more. Like the list of people or a list of heading and also uh, the which paragraph contain this information like that questions more. So take care about that and our general module reading will be in EC2 moderate level and concentrate on last passage that will be a long passage so concentrate more on that try to manage your time accordingly to spend more time in last passage. Okay then in case of writing for academic uh, you need to concentrate on bar chart, table and pie charts. Okay, and regarding task 2, opinion based question, 65% uh, above chance will be there for opinion based question and along with that outweigh category you need to concentrate, advantage, outweigh, disadvantage and vice versa. We will start up with the essay section soon because most of them are really confused about the structure and all. Uh, what's the difference between do you agree or disagree and to what extent so i'm getting frequent uh, questions related to that so we will start up with the essay section soon and uh, regarding the general module uh, you need to concentrate on formal letter and discussion type essay in case of task two and concentrate on uh, advantage disadvantage category under discussion type and essay topics i will uh, discuss at last and so next test date will be 10th September that will be Saturday it's an academic only test date so I'm not at all preferring this particular test date 10th September uh, before uh, moving on with the prediction I just want to clear um, it's from my experience only I'm just making this type of videos and we are just uh, taking the average students into consideration while preparing the videos uh, maybe you are uh, taking coaching from any academy or any personal trainer means try to take their opinion also because they know well about your capability and uh, capacity
20 and all so according to that they will prefer you the test date okay uh, so we are considering the level of the test the question category based on that only we are uh, just telling that it is easy moderate and all okay so take care about that too and the second test date will be 10th September um, and it will be Saturday. It's an academic only test date. I'm not at all preferring this particular test date. In listening module and also the reading module, we are expecting in moderate level. A listening module, you can expect EMCQ based questions and matching type of questions more and also map completion in part two. And in reading also, we are expecting in a moderate level okay um, any one of the passage will be little bit tricky also especially uh, that will be the first passage okay so take care about that and if you find the first passage a little bit tricky in the sense try to uh, skip that particular passage and complete the remaining two and come back then you will be more relieved after completing around uh, uh, 20 27 question you will be more comfortable to solve the remaining things so try to do like that you can apply 3s method and all skipping skipping scanning and all and uh, regarding the task one you need to concentrate on process diagram table chart and pie charts and also co combination chart you can expect for regarding task two writing uh, you can concentrate on discussion with opinion type question and also two part type of question the question including two different parts and all you need to answer for both the part so 10 september that's an academic only test date moving on to the third test date that will be 15th september uh, so I will suggest this particular test date for academic students. Okay, this will be the best test date we can say it's with academic and general module, but it will be more comfortable test date for academic module rather than general module. Uh, so the reading section will be easy or maximum easy to moderate we can say and um, uh, listening section also comparatively easy. You can expect MCQ based question and fill up based questions more. Okay, the audio will be in normal pace and in uh, reading module also the filler based questions you can expect in each and every passage and other than that true false not given type of question at least two sets you can expect and regarding the task one uh, concentrate on line chart bar chart table that means basic infographic structures. And along with that, in case of task two, concentrate on opinion based question more or else discussion with opinion category. That means discuss both views and state your opinion. You need to add third body paragraph must. That means you can just include your own opinion in third body paragraph. Now regarding the general module, uh, in task one, you need to concentrate on informal later. And regarding task two, opinion based question or else discussion type essay. Okay, these two categories you need to concentrate and reading module of general will be in EC2 moderate level. The first two section will be short short passages and it will be easy and the last passage will be little bit tricky we can say. Okay, so you need to concentrate more on that. Now regarding the last Thursday, 24th September, this will be the second option for academic students and the first option for the general module students. That means for general module, this will be the best test date, 24th September. Uh, so first we'll see about the listening section for both academic and general. Uh, you can expect fill up based question that will be in the form of um, table completion or form completion or summary completion and mcq based questions especially short mcqs and all in part two and all along with a selection of later type of question that will be one or two set you can expect and regarding the reading module of academic uh, you need to concentrate on matching type of question like which paragraph contain these information then selection of later type of question that means uh, they will give uh, five options a to e and you need to select any two from that then yes no not given category then uh, regarding general module reading the reading section will be easy uh, all the section you can uh, expect filler based questions more so that means in first passage filler based question and true false not given and second section also you can expect you such a filler based question last passage also they can ask for uh, filler based question uh, that means one word only filler along with one matching and also uh, super easy uh, reading section for general module regarding the writing task uh, in task one of academic you can uh, concentrate on maps that means diachronic map the combination of uh, two map that means same place at a different time along with that you need to give attention to words a table chart and also bar graph 
so the entire month that means in september month uh, for a task one we will prefer bar chart and also table more these two categories they can ask repeatedly that means in morning slot and also in evening slot they can ask for these two tasks more so concentrate more on these two tasks if you are giving your test paper on september month for academic students i'm telling and for a gentle module take care about formal letter for task one and in case of task two uh, give more attention towards direct question that means direct opinion based question or else two part type of question they will give two different part for the question that means the question including two different parts and along with that concentrate on discussion based question that means advantage disadvantage category they can ask in outweigh format also uh, for both academic and also general module so that's about the level and the question category now we will discuss some essay topics uh, for both academic and general module first of all related to advertisement about the different marketing strategies promotion of the products then about the fashion in clothes branded items um, related to materialism or business oriented question then uh, the second will be related to government role government role in any aspect or related to the economy money based question and uh, the government fund related questions then about social issues that may be urbanization materialism or related to globalization or migration of people or related to old age issues uh, they can ask about the youngsters and old age comparatively uh, that means about their uh, retirement age or work during this uh, retirement life like that questions then related to work or job oriented question that may be temporary or full time job part time job anything they can ask for then the next will be education and also role of technology in education that means related to mobile phone influence computer internet influence in education basis question then the last one environment and also related to natural resources environmental problem that may be related to food also they can ask about about the importing exporting of food items and all so these are the topics you need to prepare for your essays for academic and also general module so it's always better to collect some points in a uh, general that means uh, to get if, if it is education means you can just collect some point about what to give as a general statement uh, about your outline sentence you can plan about some points under that so it will be easy for you whenever they are asking any type of uh, essay format so take care about the updated structure also because uh, most of them are uh, self preparing and they are uh, recommending these internet platforms uh, different website for uh, referring the essays and all maybe they published the essays in 2017 and 18 and they are republishing it so the essay will be in the same format um, that means the outdated format so you can just refer the essays for uh, collecting some points other than that take care about updated structure you can visit the cambridge official site or idp official site for uh, the recent materials and all uh, so that will be more better so as soon as i will start up with the task two section with that i thought of doing uh, live uh, introspections after each test date that means today we have ilts test morning and evening slot after completing morning and evening slot i thought of uh, coming for a live section to discuss about today's question um so those who are writing the exams they can uh, join with us they can share the experiences and all that will be more better and also we can discuss freely uh, better for uh, the upcoming students also those who are planning to give their test paper so we thought of doing that uh, if the climate is okay no problem with the connection and all means definitely i will come out for a live section so thank you so much and uh, today if i can join for uh, the live section means definitely i will inform you so thank you so much for uh, watching and also be prepared with update and god bless you all